the wicked saith in his heart, What is the Almighty that we should serve him? Jeremiah 5, 20 to 24. Declare this in the house of Jacob, and publish it in Judah, saying, Hear now this, O foolish people, and without understanding, which have eyes and see not, which have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, saith Yahuwah, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree, that it cannot pass? And though the waves thereof toss themselves, yet they cannot prevail, though they roar, yet they cannot pass over it. But this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. Neither say they in their heart, Let us now fear Yahuwah our Elohim, that giveth rain, both the former and the later, in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. Job 21, 7-18 Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yea, are mighty in power? Their seed is established in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from the fear, neither is the rod of Elo upon them. Their bull gendereth, and faileth not, their cow calveth, and casteth not her calf. They send forth their little ones like a flock, and their children dance. They take the timbrel and harp, and rejoice at the sound of the organ. They spend their days in wealth, and a moment go down to the grave. Therefore say they unto El, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? What profit shall we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their good is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out? How oft cometh their destruction upon them? Elohim distributed sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. Elo layeth up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth him, and he shall know it. His eye shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. For what pleasure hath he in his house after him, when the number of his months is cut off in the mist? Shall any teach El knowledge, seeing he judgeth those that are high? Proverbs 13, verse 19 But is an abomination to fools to depart from evil. Ezekiel 18, verse 4 Behold, all souls are mine, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. What is the fear of Yahuwah? To hate evil and depart from sinning. Proverbs 8, verse 13 The fear of Yahuwah is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. Malachi 3, verse 16 Then they that feared Yahuwah spake often one to another. And Yahuwah hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahuwah, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith Yahuwah of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth Elohim, and him that serveth him not. Proverbs 16, verse 6 by mercy and truth iniquity is purged, and by the fear of Yahuwah men depart from evil. Fear Yahuwah. Luke 12, verse 5, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Matthew 12, verse 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. 1 Samuel 2, verse 2 There is none holy as Yahuwah, there is none besides thee. Neither is there any rock like our Elohim. Talk no more so exceedingly proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for Yahuwah is an El of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bowls of the mighty men are broken, and they that stubble are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. They that were hungry seized, so that the barren hath borne seven, and she that hath many children is waxed feeble. Yahuwah killeth, and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave, and bringeth up. Yahuwah maketh poor, and maketh rich. He bringeth low, and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust, and lifted up the beggar from the dunghill. 
to set them among princes, and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahuwah's, and he hath set the world upon them. He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of Yahuwah shall be broken in pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Yahuwah shall judge the ends of the earth. He shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the throne of his anointed. Jeremiah 18, verse 3. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter, saith Yahuwah? Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what instant I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to pluck up, and to pull down, to destroy it, if that nation against whom I pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent the evil that I thought to do unto them. And at what instant I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to build, and to plant it. If it do evil in my sight, and obey not my voice, then I will repent the good wherewith I said I would benefit them. Jonah forewarned in the city of Nivea is a good example. And Jonah 3 verse 1. And the word of Yahuwah came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nivea, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nivea according to the word of Yahuwah. Now Nivea was an exceedingly great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Yet forty days, and Nivea shall be overthrown. So the people of Nivea believed Elohim, and proclaimed a fast, and put on sackcloth, from the greatest of them, even unto the least of them. Who can tell if Elohim would turn and repent, and turn away from his fierce anger, that we perish not? And Elohim saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And Elohim repented of the evil that he had said he would do unto them, and he did it not. Psalm 11 verse 66 Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. Malachi 4, 1-3 For behold, the day comes burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all the evildoers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says Yahuwah of hosts, so that it will leave neither root nor branch. But for you that fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in its wings. You shall go forth leaping like calves from the stall, and shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when I act, says Yahuwah of hosts. Deuteronomy 28, 58-59 If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, Yahuwah thy Elohim, then Yahuwah will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuances, and sore sicknesses, and of long continuances. Blessed to fear Yahuwah. Psalms 115 verse 11. Ye that fear Yahuwah, trust in Yahuwah. He is their help and their shield. Psalms 103 verse 13. Like as a father pitieth his children, so Yahuwah pitieth them that fear him. Proverbs 19, verse 23. The fear of Yahuwah tended to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. Proverbs 14, 26-27. In the fear of Yahuwah is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The fear of Yahuwah is a fountain of life, to depart from the snares of death. Proverbs 10, verse 27. The fear of Yahuwah prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Psalms 25 verse 14 The secret of Yahuwah is with them that fear him. He will show them his covenant. First Peter 1 verse 17 And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of persons, judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. <laughs>